Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Bauer for the Red Carpet Report here in my finest crystal meth blue. And just like every Breaking Bad fan here, we've been waiting for this premiere, El Camino. Hey. Tony, I'm Hi. Stephanie. Hi, we're, Stephanie. We're good friends on Twitter. You favorite my things sometimes. Okay. I follow cool. you. I'm a, like the world's biggest Breaking Bad fan. Okay. It's nice cool. to meet you. Nice to meet and you. you fell in love with Albuquerque so much that you ran for office after Breaking Bad. Is that, do I have the story right? Well, uh, my family goes back about 400 years in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm from there. Uh, I've never moved from there. I've always lived there. Yeah, I've always worked out of there. You so know, that's how you that's, got the role. Is that, um, that's is that one of the reasons. Yeah, one of the reasons is I think they wanted an authentic uh, person from Albuquerque. Uh, and what was cool is I, I played the good guy, you know, uh, which was something that, you know, Latinos weren't really getting a whole lot of, uh, you know, and historically, right? We know that. Uh, and so to have that opportunity was so special to me and, and you know, I think Albuquerque and, and my family. And uh, we, uh, you know, Breaking Bad has become a part of Albuquerque in a way that we just didn't know it was going to do that. Oh I, I, we just I, didn't know it was going to do that, you know? I, I, I've done the tour. I mean, I just did it myself by Googling things. I mean, you, the town really embraces it, except, uh, except for the owner of the Crystal Palace. She didn't like visitors. She did not like when I came there. No, she's a, she put a fence up finally. And, you know, I tried to get the city to, uh, you know, to buy it. And you know, make it a make it a place for people to come and visit or whatever. But she wants she doesn't want to sell it. She's the only one that yeah. wasn't happy about it. But anyway, I'm happy for you. I was watching on the plane today. I was watching the final season again. I've watched it a million times. But a lot of your scenes with Hank, you guys get in fights a lot. When he gives you an attitude, you just took it. I mean, how did you guys stay calm and still be buddy buddy after the show? That's what buddies do. You know, that's how that's how men roll, right? You know, women when they fight, you know, it takes about 30 years for them to get over that. Uh, men will get will have breakfast the next day and be okay. Um, and we knew that's how guys are. We wanted to play these characters as people more than cops or more than DEA agents. We wanted to be people. And when I met Dean Norris, uh, we became friends that day and you can tell yeah. you can tell when you watch it mm -hmm. and people say that and when they saw us on the golf course and stuff like you know when we weren't shooting they were like you guys are like the best of friends it was like a brother that i had, that i didn't have you know and so we're still that way you know we still text we still talk we still drink schrader brawl together we're about to drink some schrader brawl this week actually yeah he's going to come out to albuquerque and uh, we're going to promote the the beer and and we're going to have some straighter bow for sure. But but he's my friend, and he'll always be my friend. Tell me what role you do have in political office now. You are in office in Albuquerque, right? I'm a county commissioner, that's right. And I sat on the school board before that. But I've always been involved, as you know, because uh, I live there, and I'm always worried about what we're doing for our community. Um, I did gang intervention programs for, for many, many years. And so I've always worried about what we do for the kids in the in the, in the, in the neighborhoods I grew up in and how we, how we look at a plan for change well i mean as much as this show is about something bad drugs i think has brought a lot of good for albuquerque i think they never glamorized drugs in this show and that's what made me happy about being on this show and they made you scared of it and you're should, right you, should, you know they never made it look like it was going to be a good idea it always made it look like it was a bad idea you're so that's right about that and i remember the ending of the whole series the font on the screen said thank you to the beautiful city of albuquerque right Always, they've always loved us. You know, every time Brian won one of those beautiful trophies, he always dedicated it to Albuquerque, New Mexico. He didn't have to do that, but he loves Albuquerque that much. The people who go out there love it that much. And so we're very thankful for that. We're thankful for you guys. Nice to meet you. As a super fan, this really was the best carpet ever. You tell us what's your favorite moment from the show, what was your favorite interview, which cast member is your favorite. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, tell us what you like in the comments section, and thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. See you guys next time.